you all? How you doing today? This is Darnella, your girl. I'm out at my local Starbucks. You know, I've had a virus, uh, intestinal virus, for the whole week, and so I just wasn't feeling good. Um, but I went and got my hair done yesterday. I'm glad you all like it, who commented. Um, but anyway, so that always helps, you know, when you get yourself pampered and, you know, when you look better, you feel better. But, um... So anyway, I thank God for his healing. I thank God for my mother constantly praying for me all week. She called me this morning and prayed with me. But I just want to come on and say, um, I just saw an article where a 47-year-old brother who was a mechanic all of his life just became a doctor, finished med school. Now, many of you know that after being a legal administrator for 30 years, I uh, had a very rewarding career, although stressful at times, but very rewarding. It afforded me the ability to have a good lifestyle and raise my children with the advantages most black single-parent children don't have. Um, so I applied for and got into law school that I'll begin next month. Um, and it was something that I originally had planned to do as a young person, but once I moved to Washington, D.C., from New York, finished college and everything, I decided, you know, I was making good money just, you know, being in administration, and I was, you know, happy doing that and doing being in politics in Washington, all those other things that um, I was afforded the blessing to do. Um, so I never did go to law school because I was raising... Darnaya, and then 13 years later, just surprise, here come Deshaun. So, um, but now that I'm empty nest, I'm redoing things, rethinking things in my life, and just doing things I always wanted to do and put off, and going to law school was one of them. So when I read my brother's story, um, I don't know him, but he's my brother, whoever he is, um, about being a mechanic all of his life and now just finishing med school and finished his residency. He's an MD. Shout out to you. You could Google the articles out there somewhere. But anyway, it tells me and I tell you, um, it's never too late to shift gears. It is never too late to fulfill your dreams. It is never too late to fulfill a desire of your heart that God gave you the ability, the gift, the purpose, and the unction, and the burning fire to do. It is never too late to shift gears. Uh, I've been getting so many calls since I announced I was going to law school, like, why are you doing that? I mean, now, you know, at 54, and your kids are grown, what would make you apply to law school? Well, what would make me is my passion. What would make me is my purpose. What would make me is my Heavenly Father, who not only called me to ministry from a religious perspective, but I've always been a powerful uh, advocate and speaker politically, uh, community-wise, family-wise, and all of those things. So that's what made me do it. And I'm not afraid. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with my law degree, although I do know I'm going to be focusing on human resource law. And I know it's going to be tied to my speaking to corporations to help clean up and perfect the culture of the workplace so that people don't have to go through my experience of what I went through. Um, so that's why. So just know from my story... And this gentleman's testimony, you could Google the article. I've got a, I saw the article real quick, so I haven't even read it in fullness myself. Just know it is never too late to shift gears. It is, don't give up. Don't stop. One thing about me, my family teased me. They said, Darnella, if you start another business or organization, we don't know what we're going to do. You know what? I'm going to keep doing it to one of them succeed to the level God told me it was going to. He said, Donnelly, you're a distributor who's going to be a multimillionaire. And I speak it that I'm already one until I see the manifestation thereof. And the only thing that will stop me is death. But while I got breath in my body and I'm on this earth, 
I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pursuing. I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep living. I'm going to keep being happy. No matter how many heartbreaks I have in relationships, um, I'm still going to love people. I'm still going to love men. Ooh, I'm going to be married to the right one. Um, probably within the within the year. God's been speaking it to me in my spirit that you're going to be getting married soon. It's been going on for like two years. It's coming. I'm not giving up on what God promised me and what I desire and what I want to do and what I was put on earth to do because I know that I and you were born on purpose for a purpose. So with that, I'll let it go, but don't be afraid to shift gears. Shift gears, keep it moving, soar, and don't let nothing stop you from being greatness because that's what, that's who you and I were born to be. I love you. If you're not following me on Instagram and Facebook at His Love Evans, do so right now. Also connect on my YouTube where I'll probably upload this video. I love you so much. God loves you. And remember, you can't love your way into heaven, but you can surely bring heaven on earth through your love. Mwah.